Get to the chopper! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Survivor Squad Gauntlets. It's sort of an RTS game, you control four survivors and try and navigate them through different zombie filled mazes, or gauntlets, as the case may be. It's quite an interesting game, although some features from the first game have been removed to my displeasure. Still quite enjoyable. We'll go ahead and check out a gauntlet. Play gauntlet. All of the gauntlets right now are published by the developer, Endless Loop Studios, and there is an estimated time to completion. So we're going to do one of the shorter ones, trailer gauntlet. And uh, I actually do have a high score on this one, which is pretty cool. Even though there's only like 15 high scores. I'm number 5 or something. So, here is my squad. Chris, Mark, Alex, and Brad. Yeah. I'm gonna click 3 and send Alex over to open the door. Got and the zombies will swarm! Yeah. On the way. Going. Going. On it. Alright. We good? We happy? Mm -hmm. On it. Really? I'm going to give mm -hmm. yeah. one and two this yeah. nice gun to Ready. pick up, On the way. and I'm they ready. equip it automatically and drop their old weapon. That is a laser beam. Yes. On the way. And On I think way. zombies are gonna yeah come out from the walls. Luckily, we have some help from these turrets. When the green light is on on the turret. It is killing zombies. When the red light is on, it is set to kill humans. <laughs> but usually turrets are your friends. More guns for three and four. You can also click uh, five or six or seven to select all of your survivors. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> so the helipad is the end of the level. And you basically have to hold out here until the helicopter arrives. Get to the job! This game is in early access, so I am not currently taking damage. But that seems quite alright to me. Hooray! Look, number 5, number 17. I did worse that time. How's that happen? Oh, I took more damage. Because I got jumped. Let's build a gauntlet. Or rather edit the gauntlet that we were just in so you can edit all of the all of the maps all of the gauntlets I'm gonna put some grabbers in here just to make it a little more difficult right a lot more difficult <laughs> and we'll add a couple more infected clown cars we need to put some items down too. How about more guns that we could possibly use? That's how I like it. Window, wall, some containers. That'll be fun. Be like Easter egg hunt with a bunch of zombies and stuff. Put some more clown cars. And I want them to come from all directions actually. So we'll do that. Oh my god, we're gonna get so slammed. I don't know how it's gonna go. I suppose we should save this and check it out. Alright! Steven, Luke, Adam, and Cliff. Grabber spotted. Uh oh. They got you already. Get him, get him! I do like the special infected that they have. Oh my god, Grabber got Steven! Come on, Adam, get in there. Get the guns, get the guns! Alright. Oh, and some of the boxes block the laser beams. Which is quite fortunate. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! <laughs> and I totally cheesed him with the containers, too. I'm gonna search this container and see if it holds anything good. There's nothing! How unfortunate. Yeah, going yeah. On. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Moving. Let's get out to the helipad, boys. Got it. Yeah, moving. 
Yes. Sentry gun I put. Murder them all! It doesn't seem like they're coming from the other directions, but maybe because it was a despawn area to begin with. I'm not quite sure. Helicopter's here! Hooray! Get to the chopper! So, I think it's pretty cool that you can improve the maps. I'm sad that they took out the crafting that was available in the last game. You could, like, scavenge for supplies and stuff like that. And I thought that was an awesome thing, but maybe it will be added because this is early access. And, uh, as a bare bones thing, I think it's... it's pretty good. I love the... The idea of a top-down tactical RTS, zombie RTS, and really, if the graphics were upgraded and the game was optimized a little more, it could be sold for 15 bucks easily. Uh, but as it stands, there's there's some troubles, zombies smashing you up, uh, and you just can't get away. <laughs> but I mean, other than small bugs like that. The game is really enjoyable. I really like the tactical um, dispatch of zombies. It's it's quite a fun thing for me, uh, especially during the chaos when everything's going horrible. It's really fun to just try and keep your bearings and keep your guys alive, which they don't really die yet, but I'm sure they will at some point. And you'll be able to pick up new survivors, which was a, a thing in the old one, which I really enjoyed. So I think I think a good path is being forged here, but only time will really tell because early access. However, my hopes are high. So, friends, this has been Brandon Dayton and another Dayton Dissects on Survivor Squad Gauntlets. Comment of the week goes to the mighty Ramtide, who left some love on my Thanksgiving video. I hope you will join me for whatever we decide to do next. Until the next time, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.